Hey there, Nurse Mo here with five things to know about necrotizing fasciitis. First of all, necrotizing fasciitis is really super scary, but we're not going to count that one because that's a no brainer. So number one, anybody can get necrotizing fasciitis, but it is most common in patients who have poorly controlled diabetes, HIV, alcohol and IV drug use disorders, chronic renal failure, and obesity. Number two, any break in the skin can lead to necrotizing fasciitis, no matter how small. Number three, necrotizing fasciitis can even result from pharyngitis, dental infections, surgeries of the head and neck. It can even translocate from one part of the body to a distal area of injury, such as a muscle strain. Number four, the classic signs are hot, red, shiny, swollen areas of the skin with pain that is wildly out of proportion to the injury that has occurred. Number five, necrotizing fasciitis is treated with emergent, right now, emergency, 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 surgical debridement and washout, and then antibiotics to prevent the spread of infection. There is so much more to learn about necrotizing fasciitis, and I've covered the key things for you in episode 188 of the Straight A Nursing Podcast. See you there.